Now playing today, we have Katera and Freddie, who are in Tennessee, and Christian and Brad, who are in Virginia. Uh, thank you so much for coming to play this game with us today. Katera, Freddie, welcome to the show. Um, Katera, have you and Freddie, do you think you've got what it takes? Yes, of course. We, it's it's a done deal. deal. We, I mean, I'm already celebrating. Wow, it's a done deal. Freddie's celebrating. Uh, Brad, Christian, is, is, is Freddie celebrating prematurely? Absolutely. We're not intimidated at all. <laughs> not at all. I'm ready. <laughs> I mean, I will say Christian looks like someone who's used to playing games. Christian, are you sitting in a gaming chair? Yes, sir, I am. <laughs> How old are you? I am 18 years okay, old. Okay, good. You've got like three more years, and then it yes. starts to look like a cry for help, okay? <laughs> Here's how it's going to work, guys. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. One person from each team will quickly write down what they think the answer is. If your answers match, you get a point. Okay? Everyone understand? Yes. Gotcha. Then let's do it. Okay, this first question is for the kids, okay? So, Freddie and Brad, I need you to write your answers down for this. Katera and Christian, are you ready? Here we go. Do you think your dad has ever hidden a relationship from you? Okay, so Freddie and Brad, write your answers down. Let me know when you've done that. I'm good. Okay, so let's go to Christian first. Christian, do you think your father has ever hidden a relationship from you? I, you know, I want to say yes, James, but I'm going to go ahead and say no, just because we have that kind of relationship where we're open with each other. So you think you have a relationship where you're open with each other? <laughs> <laughs> Brad, Christian oh. thinks you have this open relationship. Which we do. Which secret relationship have you hidden from him? Well, to be clear, James, there were several. When they were little, and I was a single dad, I uh, dated quite a few women, but I didn't think it was right to bring them around the kids until I knew it was serious. Well, I think that is commendable and should be applauded. But just so <laughs> Christian knows, have there been any relationships hidden? while he has been, you know, 18 and above? No. <laughs> okay. Well, Thank that God. pause, nobody believes you. Not one person on watching at home or here on this Zoom believes you. But I'll let you off. Well done, guys. You've scored a point. Okay, let's go to Katera and Freddie. Katera, do you think your dad has ever hidden a relationship from you? Yes, 100%. 100 percent yes. why so confident because he was like the party guy and like everybody liked him he was the football player and all that so i'm sure there's been a girl or two that he's just never told us about freddie let's see your answer yes freddie what which which relationship have you hidden from katera well it's not what she thinks uh she got it partly right with a party but it was a it was a cousin what? Uh, so, oh, quick what? synopsis. My mom is one of 12 children. Uh, they all had 10 kids. Uh, we're all in the same town. I used to throw parties in high school. Threw a party, met a girl. We hit it off. Uh, we went on a date after the party. And uh, at the end of the date, it went really well. You know, things got a little heavy, not too heavy. And... <laughs> She wanted a date, and I said I had a family reunion, and she said, wow, I have a family reunion. And I was like, okay, so um, when's your family reunion? And I was like, it was Friday. She was like, mine's Friday. And I was like, cool. So we start talking about family members, and the more we talked, our eyes got bigger and bigger, and we were like, we're cousins. Uh, it did, uh, needless to say, we didn't date anymore, and that's... Katera doesn't have any secret sisters. <laughs> okay. No oh, words. wow. No words, James. No. <laughs> All right. This final question is also for the kids. So, dads, I want you to write down the answers here. Do you think your dad has ever done any snooping in your room? Has your father ever snooped in your rooms? Let's go to... Katera, Katera, do you think your dad has ever done any snooping in your room? Um, the boys, yes. I don't think us girls. He hasn't. You think he snooped in your brother's rooms, but not in yours? Yes. 
Freddie? Absolutely. You're my girls. Are you kidding me? Go on. What? What? When? When you've snooped, what have you found? Well, um, like one time she was in the shower and she left her phone uh, on the sink, and I just went in there to make sure, you know, there, there she had linens and everything in there, and. She had been taking some 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 poses in her phone uh, that I don't think she knows that I saw, and I didn't say anything to her about it, and just kept snooping in her phone to see where this went. It didn't go anywhere. I think she just felt good about herself. Katara, this has been quite the whirlwind for you. How are you feeling? <laughs> oh my lord. I did not know you knew that. <laughs> I didn't want to know it. <laughs> Let's move on now to Christian and Brad. Christian, do you think your father has ever snooped in your room? Yes, 100%. He's had to have. There's no way that he hasn't. He's gone, yes, 100%. Brad? What? No. <laughs> I don't think it was snooping. What do you <laughs> oh, mean? No. Well, he, he when he was in high school, he drove the, the car to school every day. And in inclement weather, he would um, I would go out and I would clean off the car and get it warm for him. And so this particular day, I went up and I said, hey, I'm going to warm up your car. Where are your car keys? And he said, they're on the nightstand where I keep them all the time. I said, they're not there. He said, oh, I put them in a drawer. Look in the drawer. So I did, and when I looked in the drawer, I found the car keys, but I also found some condoms. <laughs> and I thought, I thought, well, you know, he's a young high school kid. Maybe he's active. Maybe he's overly optimistic. I don't know. <laughs> so later on in the week, my fiance, who I hadn't seen for about two weeks, came down early on Thursday. And um, you, you know what it's like to have a fiance and a kid living at the house? It's, you know, it's kind of touch and go when you kind of, you know, get busy. Mm -hmm. And so he, had, he was gone to school, of course, as she came down. I thought, ah, that's a perfect time to, you know, haven't seen you for a while. He's at school. Don't know when he's going to be home. We'll get a little bit busy. So I thought, let's go. And so then I realized I don't have a condom. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come but on. I thought, hey. I got it. I ran down to his bedroom. <laughs> I got the condom and I'm like, I'm in. I'm excited in every way, shape, or form as you can imagine. I tear into that puppy. I go to lay that thing on and it doesn't fit. <laughs> oh. you. I guess I guess he doesn't maybe he doesn't understand the different <laughs> sizes. I don't know. Let's just say. There's a saying, the apple doesn't far, fall far from the tree. But in this case, I'm not sure it came off the tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Christian, have you anything you'd like to share? He's not my dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, you have all learned a huge amount of e about each other. I'm just going to call it a draw because I don't think anybody won. <laughs> And in a way, I think some of us have lost. <laughs> Freddie and Brad, happy Father's Day. <laughs> Stay safe out there. You, that was Thank fantastic. You.